Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Trivet Knots. I'm John, and this episode is going to involve a couple of things. Uh, initially, I'm going to be talking about kind of the history of Senate frames, what little, very little is known about the history of Senate frames, and I'm going to highlight some people who over the past 20, 30, 40 years have made some remarkably beautiful frames and uh, very skillfully done and uh, kind of give you an overview of those guys uh, this time and then go a little bit more into uh, a background of each one of those the best I know and best can find out. Uh, some of them I personally know, some of them I just know of. Uh, anyway, over the next few videos we're going to go into some more of that in detail just as an embellishment of interest uh, around that subject. Uh, finally, at the end of it, I'm going to do a tutorial that is basically a, an embellishment to the 894 Rose Knot. I did a full video on how to build the basics of an 894, how to tie that. Uh, but there are different ways you can finish it, and I'm going to show you how I'm finishing the Rose Knots that are going to be on this particular frame that I'm working on. And don't forget, Nautical USA is a great source for a variety of things from hard laid line to Meyerson knives and if you use and I'm actually I figured out how to put a dog on link on this I had to get on my computer to do it but there's now a link in the description that you can click on to go to the Nautical USA website and Trevette USA is the discount code for 10% off. Enjoy the rest of the video. This frame by Alton Budwin is in the Encyclopedia of Knots and Fancy Rope Work, the only published work that shows instructions on how to make a frame. So there are a few pages, actually 10 pages, of instructions in Grammont and Hensel, otherwise known as Hansel and Gretel, the Encyclopedia of Knots and Fancy Rope Work, which is the only known documented uh, instructions on how to make a daggone Senate frame. So, it's in there. And all of these frames were tied by the grandfather of Matthew Bodwin, who is the current owner of Mystic Knotwork in Mystic, Connecticut. And the granddad's name was Alton Bodwin. The reason we know very much at all about the history of Senate frames is due to the efforts and legwork over a period of years by Pat Spearing. He also makes really beautiful frames, but his research is why I can share a lot of what I'm going to share with you. This is the frame that Daryl Inskeep posted on Facebook toward the beginning of the year that when I saw it inspired me to decide to make my own frame. So more on Daryl later. He's made a lot of frames, and he, I like them. Talked to Charlie Bell on the phone last week. He makes remarkably tied frames, and so look forward to sharing more of his work with you. Jesse Eves made some of the most elaborate and most perfectly tied frames ever, and there's a lot of his work that I'm going to be able to share with you in, in the future. This tutorial shows how to finish a rose knot with a crown knot. So this tutorial begins pretty close to the end of the initial rose knot tutorial I did as my fifth video in uh, this series. So we've tied a crown and then we're gonna take all the ends and run them right down the center, and they end up pairing up with uh, some of the existing lines that are in there. So you end up with uh, three pairs of two, because there's six lines. And I'm gonna speed this up here in a second. So, but you'll see that they, they run all through there, and they're, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a spiral. They sort of spiral into the middle. But then you flip it over, which you'll see in just a moment. And let it speed up and run through here. I'm not going to skip all the way forward. Hurry up, John. Get that last one through there. There we go. All right. So then you flip it over. 
and you're going to run these back up from the bottom but if you identify the spots like you'll see me pointed out here you want to have them evenly spaced so if you start from the top and run your marlin spike or pricker through you'll be able to know the spot to, to poke them through that makes them evenly spaced all the way around because that's pretty daggone important they need to be even So once they're back up top, you're simply going to crown it again. Easier for me to say as I fumble with it, but there we go. And then I actually had to uh, jump forward here because I couldn't get the daggone thing through in like a, a reasonable time. It's ridiculous. So you need to properly fare these up and it's, not as tight as you can go, but you're going to get it pretty daggone snug. And after it looks nice and symmetrical and concentric, you're going to run these ends all right back down through. And once again, those need to be put through evenly. And the finished product looks pretty daggone awesome, if you ask me. That's why I did it. I like it. And there it is, an 894 with a crown on top. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And don't forget to check out Nautical USA for all of your tying needs, cord supply, etc. And we'll see you next time.